हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो ऑन डबल इंटीग्रल्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रल्स ओवर द गिवन रीजन इन पर्टिकुलरली वी विल इवैल्यूएट डबल इंटीग्रल्स ओवर द गिवन रीजन व्हिच इज बाउंडेड बाय द कर्व्स विथ कार्टेशियन कॉर्डिनेट्स इन दिस इवैल्यूएशन प्रोसेस in step 1 we will draw the curves which bounds the region of integration and we will recognize the region of integration out of it then in step 2 we decide the order of evaluation of our choice and accordingly we will find the limits for inside as well as outside integrals and in step 3 we will evaluate the corresponding integrals so let us see examples of the same in this first example we are asked to evaluate double integral of dx dy over the area bounded by curves y is equal to x square and x plus y is equal to 2 let's see its solution in step 1 we are supposed to draw the curves which bounds the region of integration and we have to recognize the region of integration out of it here region of integration is bounded by the curves y is equal to x square and x plus y is equal to 2 y is equal to x square is a parabola along y axis opening upwards and x plus y is equal to 2 is a straight line so let's draw them this is parabola y is equal to x square and this is x plus y is equal to 2 line together they bound this region of integration shaded by yellow color now let's see step 2 In step two, we have to decide the order of evaluation of our own choice. We will choose it in such a way that we do not need to split the region of integration. So let us see what happen if we choose the order of evaluation as dx dy. For that, we have to throw arrows parallel to x-axis from left to right. Viewers, those who are not aware about this arrow technique. please watch my previous video on this change of double integrations link of that video is given in the description box now let us see what happen when we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right we see that these arrows enter into the region by crossing this parabolic curve but while leaving the region of integration they crosses two curves namely this line as well as this parabola so this does not fulfill the criteria of throwing arrow method so we have to split the region to find the limits now before splitting this region we will check whether does this happen for dy dx order also for that we will throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top now see that these arrows enter into the region by crossing this parabolic curve and they leave the region by crossing this straight line so they took only one one curve while entering and exiting the region of integration so here in this case that is in the order of dy dx we do not need to split the region of integration so we stick to this order of evaluation that is dy dx now let's find out corresponding limits for order dy dx so limits of the integral will be as follows see that these arrows crosses curve y is equal to x square to enter into the region so x square will be the lower limit of the inside integral now while exiting the region they crosses curve x plus y is equal to 2 that is y is equal to 2 minus x therefore y is equal to 2 minus x is the upper limit of this inside integral now for outside integral we will check when we throw arrows parallel to x axis which boundary point these arrows meet first and last so these arrows meet this first boundary point where x is minus 2 so x is equal to minus 2 is the lower limit of the outside integral and while leaving the region this is the last boundary point these arrows touches here x is 1 so x is equal to 1 is the upper limit of the outside integral i hope guys you understood how we have evaluated these limits for inside as well as outside integral now in step 3 we have to evaluate this integral i am leaving this evaluation part for the students i am writing here the final answer so that you can cross check your answer please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve this question or not now let me show you another example of the similar type 
here we are asked to evaluate double integral of x square plus y square dx dy over the area bounded by the curves y is equal to 4x, x plus y is equal to 3, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2. Now let us write its solution. In step 1, we have to draw the curves which bounds the region of integration and we have to recognize the region of integration out of it. The given region is bounded by the curves y is equal to 4x, x plus y is equal to 3, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2. All of them are straight lines. Let us draw it. This is y is equal to 4x line. This is x plus y is equal to 3 line. This is y is equal to 0 line. And this is y is equal to 2 line. Together they bound this region of integration which is shaded in blue color. Now let us go for step 2. In step 2 we have to decide the order of evaluation of our own choice. We will choose it in such a way that we do not need to split the region of integration. For that we will first see what happens when we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right. We see that these arrows will enter into the region by crossing one curve and they will exit the region by crossing one curve. So in this case that is in this order we do not need to split the region of integration. So we stick to this order of integration. And now we will find out the corresponding limits of the integrals. They will be given as follows. Now check which curve these arrows crosses to enter into the region of integration. That curve is y is equal to 4x. So what is x? x is y by 4. So y by 4 is the lower limit of the inside integral. Now check which curve these arrows crosses while exiting the region of integration. That curve is x plus y is equal to 3. So what is x here? x is 3 minus y. So 3 minus y is the upper limit of the inside integral. Now for outside integral limits, we will throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top and we will check which boundary point these arrows touches first and last. We see that this is the boundary line these arrows touches first and on this line y is 0. So 0 is the lower limit of outside integral. Similarly, while exiting the region, these arrows crosses this boundary line and on this boundary line y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2 is the upper limit of the outside integral. I hope guys you understood how we have evaluated the limits for inside as well as outside integral in this case. Now in step 3, we have to evaluate this integral. That I am going to leave for the students. The final answer here is this one. Please write me in comment box whether you got this answer after evaluation of these integrals. Now let us go ahead for next example. Here we are asked to evaluate double integral of xy into x minus 1 dx dy over the area bounded by curves xy is equal to 4, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. Let us see its solution. In step 1, we will draw the curves which bounds the region of integration and we will recognize the region of integration out of it. Here the region of integration is bounded by these four curves. xy is equal to 4 is a rectangular hyperbola. y is equal to 0 is x axis and x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4 are straight lines parallel to y axis passing through x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. This is how they look like. This is xy is equal to 4. This is y is equal to 0. This one is x is equal to 1 and this one is x is equal to 4. Together they bound this region of integration. Now we will go for step 2. In step 2, we have to decide the order of evaluation of the integral. We will choose it in such a way that we do not need to split the region of integration. So for that, we will see what happen if we choose the order of evaluation dx dy. To find its limit, we will throw arrows parallel to x axis. But we see that these arrows are entering into the region by crossing only one curve. But while leaving the region, they crosses this hyperbola as well as this straight line. That means they are crossing more than one curves while leaving the region of integration. So we will avoid this order of evaluation. 
now we will see is this the same case with order dy dx to check it we will throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top we see that these arrows are entering into the region by crossing only one curve and they are exiting the region by crossing only one curve so these arrows fulfill the criteria that means this order is okay to us we do not need to split the region in this case so we choose the order dy dx now we will find out the limits for this order of evaluation now check that when we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top these arrows crosses y is equal to zero curve to enter into the region so y is equal to zero is the lower limit of the inside integral and while leaving the region these arrows crosses x y is equal to 4 that means y is equal to 4 by x so 4 by x is the upper limit of the inside integral now for outside integral we will throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right and we will check which boundary point these arrows touches first and last we see that these arrows touches this curve first or this boundary line first on this boundary line x is 1 so x is equal to 1 is the lower limit of the outside integral and while leaving the region they crosses this boundary line last here x is 4 so 4 is the upper limit of the outside integral this is how one can evaluate the limits for such type of example i hope guys you understood how we have evaluated limits for this double integral in this particular case now in step 3 we have to evaluate these integrals i'm leaving that part for students the final answer of this integral is this one Please write me in comment box whether you got this answer or not. Now I have a practice example for you. I have given the diagram as well as the final answer of this. Please cross check your answer here and write me in comment box whether you got this answer or not. I hope guys you understood the concept that I have covered in this video. I will be coming with more such interesting videos in near future. Till then keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.